It may not be the remaster you've been waiting for, but this Bloodborne PS1 demake looks incredible. The project is titled Bloodborne PSX, and we've had our eye on its development since late last year. The game's developer, Lilith Walther, started the project with another developer, Corwin Pritchard, around the time Bloodborne originally came out, but took a break to finish an indie game called Arcus. However, once Arcus shipped, Walther picked up the project again and has been posting really detailed updates about the game's progress and hosting live streams where she talks through her approach to try and turn one of the most beloved from software games into a PS1 classic. What really turned a lot of heads though was a release date trailer which Walther dropped on Halloween last year. Bloodborne PSX is set to come out at the end of this month on January 31st and it has a ton of familiar locations, enemies, and weapons but with a shockingly faithful PS1 aesthetic. Bloodborne PSX won't be a full version of the original PS4 game as it will only go up to the gas coin fight but some of the areas will be extended or reimagined to make the game feel a little more like a PS1 original. However, Walther did release a video showing off the first 10 minutes of the game and the accuracy is pretty spot on, from cutscenes to enemy placement to parries and dodging and even character customization. The Hunter Axe and the Threaded Cane have been confirmed to be in the game, as well as three other trick weapons. Of course, there's blood vials, but it's really cool to see items like Flame Sprayer being used on enemies and bosses. As I mentioned before, Bloodborne PSX will take you all the way to the Gascoigne fight, complete with his three forms, which means you'll also encounter the Cleric Beast at some point. But what would these iconic boss fights be without the proper music and audio work? The Noble Demon, a composer who has her own YouTube channel, has been contributing retrofied tracks, and Walther has been programming in all the cues to land just how they did in the original game. It's really, really cool to see it all coming together, and January 31st is not that far away. Bloodborne PSX will be made available to play on PC, but where to get it hasn't been announced yet. Of course, projects like this are always at risk of being shut down by a publisher or platform holder, so if you are interested, when the day comes and that information does present itself, we recommend you scoop it up quick. While Walter has also said she has no intention of making a full one-to-one -one version of the demake, she does plan to release the source code for the game, which is being developed via Unreal 4. Oh, and the CRT scan lines are fully customizable, meaning you can turn them off if you want to. Anyways, we thought it was a cool project and very much worth sharing. As for those of you waiting for an update about Bloodborne Remastered or Bloodborne 2, it's a new year, but don't expect anything until well after Elden Ring launches in late February. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.